Foucault's going to say, all right, natural talents, what are these natural talents? Where do they come from? Well, they are forged, they are shaped by external forces so that people will slot in, into those social positions. This is disciplinary power, shapes individuals so that they are, in, when they're inserted into the division of labor, they dance according to the logic of that position. This is what he would call forced division of labor. And all division of labor is forced. And what Durkheim describes over there, what is Durkheim's utopia, is Foucault's nightmare. The perfection of the forced division of labor, the perfection of disciplinary power. That basically the project of the division of labor is to get people into places for which they are equipped. That is to subjugate them most perfectly to disciplinary power, Jason. I don't think, I think it's people are, talents are constituted by social forces. That is the antithesis of Foucault, and we will talk more about it on Thursday. So would you say that you, if you exercise power, but you possess authority? So it's different between you? You may possess authority, but he's really interested in power. That the authority is an emanation of the power that you possess by virtue of your position. So there's a difference between the university creating the authority to give us grades, and you exercising power and making us sit down and be quiet. Right. He's just saying it's really all a matter of power. For him, authority is a minor matter and sort of an add-on. Well, of course, for Weber, for example, authority will be the essence of the story. Yeah, and you can't argue that the that repairing the relationships within the division of labor organic solidarity is similar to the idea of repairing the soul and that it's repairing that person's relationship with society? Yes, it is the same. It is the very same. Only Dirk has concerned with repairing relations. Foucault's concerned with rehabilitating individuals. Which will then repair their relationship with society, right? You, with relation, you could say it's a relationship to society. That's right. But that, for Foucault, is an exercise. That's power. Whereas for Durkheim, it's building solidarity. Got it. So they're saying the same thing, but a completely different interpretation. And it has a different goal. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it somewhat has... Yes, a different goal. It's not clear what Durkheim... Durkheim's goal is clear. Foucault, of course, in a sense, anti-Durkheim. That's his goal. Thank you. Bye, like Bridget. Do you have a second? Yeah. The first one. So Durkheim, what is the prison? Durkheim sees no reason to privatize.